But we begin with CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker, who talked to two Chicago area men who were there, one of them wounded in the gunfire. It was the last day of the three day concert, the final act, when the fun for Chicago's Mike Anderson and his friends turned tragic. We start hearing. We thought we're firecrackers. Anderson was just 20 feet from the stage. You can hear them hitting the stage. Pop, pop, pop. They just kept coming. I just remember another girl next to me bleeding, a girl right in front of me grabbing her throat. And as he ran for his life. I'm like, I'm going to get shot. It's almost a blur, almost like a bad dream. Anderson escaped unharmed. Scott Lee didn't. This morning, he arrived at O'Hare. Later, we spoke by phone. Shooter at direct line of sight. Lee was watching the concert from a rooftop of a nearby hotel with his wife and friends. Many of them are rushing in our direction, so we knew we had to get off the top of this roof. I believe that's when I got hit. A bullet through his thigh. One of the difficult parts is at this point in time, nobody knew where the shooter was. And each time, there, there was no less than 30 shots. When Lee couldn't run anymore, a stranger helped carry him and others to a waiting truck and onto the hospital. What goes through your mind, Scott? First, how bad I feel for all the people who were not as fortunate as me. The impact on your life having experienced this. I just think about the people that got shot or just, you know, the families of the people who passed away. I mean, that's, uh, you know, I'm just thankful to be here. Now, Lee was at the doctor today for a checkup on his leg. He says he is in pain, but expects to make a full recovery. Anderson took the day off from work just to relax, but plans to return to the office tomorrow. Eric, Rob? Yeah, you know what's surprising? Lee said he was at another hotel room? I mean, another hotel. Exactly. He was kind of, you know, a, probably about a half a block away because that's just how big it was. Yeah. So he says from his vantage point, he could see, but he also felt that the shooter could see directly.